Hi, this is Teacher Liz. Finally, narating na natin ang pangatlong lesson ng Module 1. Make sure na napanood nyo ang dalawang naunang lesson para mas facilitated ang inyong pagkatuto sa lesson na ito. So, lesson 3 is all about wavelengths and frequencies of electromagnetic waves. Narito ang ating mga objectives. Relate the wavelength and frequency of a wave. Identify the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum and apply the basic wave equation in solving problems involving wavelength and frequency. But first, let's have a pretest. You know the drill, this has 5 items with 10 second pause in between. An inverse relationship means as one increases, the other decreases. Pause. As frequencies increase on the electromagnetic spectrum, wavelengths decrease. Pause. Radio waves have shorter wavelengths than ultraviolet rays. Pause. All forms of electromagnetic waves can have varying speeds in a vacuum. Pause. And gamma rays have the highest frequency and therefore contain photons with lowest energies. Pause. Please keep your answers dahil babalikan natin to so near the end of this video lesson. Recall that in Lesson 1, the following examples of EM waves were introduced. Radio waves, visible light o yung light na nakikita o nadedetect ng ating mga mata, at x-rays na ginagamit sa mga hospital para makunan ng picture ang ating mga organs. Lahat sila ay electromagnetic waves at lahat sila ay may speed na 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second o 300,000 kilometers per second in a vacuum. Pero hindi ba kayo nagtataka bakit sa tatlong ito yung visible light lang ang kayang makita ng ating mga mata? Bakit hindi natin nakikita ang radio waves o ng x-rays? Well, of course, with the exception of Superman na sinasabing meron daw x-ray vision. The answer, it's because electromagnetic waves have varying wavelengths and frequencies. And because of this, we have different forms of waves, seven actually, and you will get to know all of them in this lesson. Consider the following questions as you go along with this video lesson. Maaari nyo ring isulat ang mga ito sa inyong notebook at sagutan habang kayo ay nanonood. Let's have question number one. What is the relationship between wavelength and frequency of a wave? Let's recall from grade 7 science what wavelength and frequency are first. Suppose meron tayong lubid at ginalaw natin ito up and down to produce some waves as shown in the picture. Highest points are called crest, lowest points are called trough, and yung distansya between two consecutive or magkasunod na crest and troughs ay tinatawag nating wavelength. Ang unit ng wavelength ay meter. Next is the frequency. Frequency is the number of waves that passes by a point in one second. And ang one cycle of a wave is the complete evolution of its shape until the point that it is ready to repeat itself. So sa example na to, ilang cycles or waves ba ang nabubuo? So tignan natin. 1, because at this point, uh, mauulit na yung wave natin. 2, and 3. Ibig sabihin, the frequency of this wave is 3 waves per second or 3 hertz. Hertz is the unit of frequency. So, ngayong alam na natin ang frequency at wavelength, ano nga ba ang relationship nila sa isa't isa? Tignan natin ang dalawang waves na ito. Alin sa tingin nyo ang mas mataas ang frequency o yung mas maraming nabubuong cycles per second? Alin naman kaya ang mas mahaba ang wavelength o yung mas malayo ang distansya ng crest at troughs? Narito ang mga tamang sagot. Ang wave sa itaas, ang mas mataas ang frequency. Ngunit, mas maikli ang wavelength. Kasi kung mapapansin ninyo, mas mabilis ang paggalaw ng red dot na siyang sumisimbolo sa energy ng wave. Mas maikli rin ang wavelength nito dahil maliit lang ang pagitan ng mga crest at trough. Ang wavelength naman sa ibaba ay may mababang frequency 
dahil kaunti lang ang cycles ng wave na nagagawa dahil mabagal ang paggalaw ng red dot. Ngunit mahaba ang kanyang wavelength dahil malaki ang distansya ng mga crests at troughs. With this, mapapansin natin na ang frequency at wavelength ay inversely proportional to each other. Kapag mataas ang frequency, mababa o maikli ang wavelength nito. Kapag mababa naman ang frequency, mataas o mahaba ang wavelength nito. Ibig sabihin, an increase in one is a decrease in the other. Okay, let's go to question number two. What are the different regions of the electromagnetic spectrum? The wide range of electromagnetic waves with different frequencies and wavelengths form the electromagnetic spectrum. Ang electromagnetic spectrum ay nahati sa pitong parts. Note that there is no defining region for each form of electromagnetic waves. At pansinin nyo rin yung values ng frequencies and wavelengths. As frequency increases, wavelength decreases. This means that radio waves have the longest wavelengths and gamma rays have the shortest. But radio waves have the least frequency and gamma rays have the highest frequency. Ang mga electromagnetic wave na ito ay may dalang energy na nakapaloob sa kanilang photons. Photons are bundles or packets of wave energy. A photon's energy is directly proportional to frequency. The higher the frequency, the higher the photon's energy. From among the EM waves, gamma rays carry photons of high energies dahil ito ang may pinakamataas ang frequency. While radio waves have photons with the lowest energies dahil ito naman ang may pinakamababang frequency. Let's take a closer look at the regions of electromagnetic spectrum. So radio waves are found at the longest wavelengths on the electromagnetic spectrum. Ginagamit sila para mag-broadcast ng radio and television. At ang wavelength nila is from 1 cm to 1,000 m. It can be as long as a football field. Microwaves are used in cooking, radar, telephone, and other signals. Wavelength is from one-tenth of a millimeter to one centimeter and can be the size of a penny or pinhead. Infrared radiation or infrared rays is what we describe as heat. At ang katawan natin ay nag-iimit mismo ng infrared rays. Ito yung heat na nade-detect ng thermal scanners, mga bacteria. Visible light is the light that we can see, and thus it is the only light detectable by the human eye. Ang size niya is from 400 nanometer to 700 nanometer, or the size of a virus. Next is the ultraviolet rays, at the radiation coming from the sun. Ang wavelength nito ay 10 raised to negative 8 to 10 raised to negative 10 meters, or the size of a water molecule. X-rays naman, these are very energetic electromagnetic waves and are used in X-ray machines to take pictures of your bones. Ang kanyang wavelength ay 10 raised to negative 10 meter to 10 raised to negative 12 meter, or the size of an atom. Finally, gamma rays, these are the most energetic light waves and are used in medicine to kill cancer cells. Ang kanyang size ay 10 raised to negative 12 meter or the size of an atomic nuclear. Okay, para mas maalala natin ng maigi ang pagkakasunod-sunod ng different forms of electromagnetic waves, narito ang isang mnemonic device. Always remember, rabbits marry in very unusual expensive gardens. Ang mnemonic device na ito ay according to increasing frequency or decreasing wavelength. And so, the third question is, what is the basic wave equation? Ang basic wave equation ay nagre-relate or nag state ng relationship among wave speed, frequency, and wavelength. Narito ang kanyang formula, where v is the velocity and is equal to 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second, which is the speed of light in vacuum, 
the Greek letter lambda, which represents the wavelength, and it is expressed in meters, and F for frequency expressed in hertz, or 1 over S, or S raised to negative 1. Narito ang ating mga sample problems for the basic wave equation. Sa mga problems na to, let's assume that electromagnetic waves travel in vacuum. First, what is the wavelength of light waves with a frequency of 6 times 10 raised to 14 hertz? Ang given natin, V is equal to 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second, and that is constant. The speed of light. F is equal to 6 times 10 raised to 14 hertz. Let's find the lambda or the wavelength. Okay, for the solution, we write first the formula. V is equal to F lambda. And we need to derive an equation for lambda because that is what we are looking for. Divide both sides of the equation by F. So we can cancel F on the other side and we arrive with lambda is equal to V over F. Then we substitute the values 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second for velocity over 6 times 10 raised to 14 S raised to negative 1 for frequency. Performing the operation, 3 divided by 6 is 0 0.5, 8 minus 14 is negative 6, and cancel na yung seconds, so ang natira natin unit is meter. Simplifying, that is 5 times 10 raised to negative 7 meter. And that's our final answer. Next, what is the frequency of radio waves with a wavelength of 20 meters? Ang given natin, again, speed of light is equal to 3 times 10 raised to 8 meters per second. And then the lambda or the wavelength, which is equal to 20 meters. Or quick convert natin to sa scientific notation, 2.0 times 10 raised to 1 meter. Now let's find the frequency. So our formula again is V is equal to frequency times lambda. We derive an equation for frequency because that's what we are looking for. So we start our formula. Divide both sides by lambda. Our formula now becomes F is equal to V over lambda. And substitute the values. And perform the operation. 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. 8, 8 minus 1 is 7. The unit is over s or over second and that is hertz. So our final answer is 1.5 times 10 raised to 7 hertz. Now let's talk about the refraction of electromagnetic waves where the speed of the EM wave travels is lower when it encounters a medium. So electromagnetic waves move slower in different media. When traveling through a material medium, electromagnetic waves retain their frequency, but their speed and wavelength changes. According to the basic wave equation, if the speed of electromagnetic wave decreases, the wavelength or the distance between two successive points must decrease too, or mas magiging maikli ang kanilang wavelength. But the frequency remains the same. Now here's a question for your reflection log. What happens to the wavelength of the electromagnetic wave if its frequency increases? Take a three minute pause. And now the posters. Arrange the following forms of electromagnetic waves according to increasing wavelength. Take a two minute pause. Next. Arrange the following forms of electromagnetic waves according to increasing frequency. Take a two-minute pause. Finally, solve the following problem. What is the frequency of a microwave that has a wavelength of 1.5 times 10 raised to 2 meters? Take a three-minute pause. Okay, balikan na natin ang ating mga sagot sa pretest. All 
right, up next, module 2, Practical Applications of Electromagnetic Waves. Stay tuned for the next module. Maraming salamat po at paalam!